State explained. Alaska. Alaska is the 49th state to join the Union. It is the absolute largest state, but the third least populated, and least densely populated. Its name is a corruption of one or another Native American word, basically meaning mainland or great land. It's known as the last frontier due to the vast majority of the state being frozen, uninhabitable wasteland, much like Canada. So it is not easy whatsoever to live in Alaska, so people actually do have to go from place to place in dog sleds and planes. Capital is Juneau, spelled kind of weird and far away from the rest of the state. But the largest city and probably one of the most notable cities in Alaska is Anchorage. Other notable cities include Kodiak, Nome, Fairbanks, and Barrow. Alaska is one of five states that borders the Pacific Ocean, and one of only two states that are not connected to the rest of the U.S. But unlike Hawaii, it's actually connected to the American continent, just disconnected from the rest of the lower 48. This really weird panhandle here was disputed with Canada. Alaska is one of the many states that borders Canada, and the only state that has territory passing the Arctic Circle. When you're that far north, time starts going weird, and the sky at night starts glowing. It's bizarre, man. Alaska has one of the best state flags in the U.S., and it was designed by a 14-year-old. The longest earthquake in the U.S. happened on Good Friday, 1964, for four entire minutes. A sourdough is what they call old people. From 1997 to 2017, a cat named Stubbs was the mayor of Talketna. Also in Talketna, they had a moose dropping festival. From 1972 to 2009, they had helicopters fly up with moose, as in droppings, not pushing a giant deer thing out of a helicopter, I mean dropping turds covered in paint. The Idetarod is the longest sled dog race. Alaska is home to the largest chocolate fountain in the world. Alaska is big, like ridiculously huge, especially compared to Texas, the second largest state in the U.S., or combining Texas, California, and Montana into one, it's still bigger, to the point where it would be the 16th largest country in the world if it was independent. It's so big it crosses over into Asia, past the 18th parallel, which technically means some of these islands are both the most western and eastern parts of the U.S., and they probably should also be in Tomorrowland, but also time zones are stupid, so they're not. Alaska is almost touching Russia. They're almost touching tips. But they used to be connected with the Beringia Land Bridge. Before sea levels rose, this is how humanity made it into the American continent. Those who stayed around this region of the Arctic Circle, and still even into parts of Russia, are known as the Inuits. Or, if you're old, Eskimo, but please don't call them that. With Alaska having the largest number of Native Americans out of all the United States, the Europeans arrived 1728 with a Danish explorer, which is where we get the land bridge and the sea from, Vitis or Wittis Bering. But actually, the Russians colonized Alaska for a while, starting on the island of Kodiak, which, yes, is where Kodiak bears get their name from. Pitbull went there once due to 4chan. Russia didn't really have the time, care, or money to keep the colony, so in the post-Civil War times, they sold it to the United States for laughably cheap, especially how valuable the state will be in the future. Because there's oil in them darn hills. So much so, they even pay off the citizens. No surprise, Alaska is regionally its own thing. There's kind of a cultural divide with the Panhandle guys down here being more similar to the Cascadian Pacific Northwest stereotypes of lumberjacks, rain, and weed. But stereotypes of Alaska in general are Aurora Borealis, Inuit people, bears, moose, killer whales, other wildlife, rugged, tough people who live in the forest and get literally paid to be here. Politically, Alaska is the most libertarian state. Loving the idea of self-determination and self-reliance and just not liking being around other people. But because the U.S. is not a multi-party state, they kind of have to rely on conservative backbenching. It's a little more liberal stateside, but the first and only time they've ever voted liberally in a U.S. presidential election was in 1964. There has been no U.S. presidents born in Alaska yet. Sarah Palin was almost vice president, though. Some famous people from Alaska include... Mario Chalmers, Kira Buckland, Colin, I don't want to butcher that last name, the first Native American to compete in the Olympics, and Sarah Palin's daughter, Bristol. 
Sarah herself is disqualified for being born in Idaho. Some famous media set in Alaska includes Balto, Snow Buddies, White Fang, Call the Wild, Brother Bear 2, Fallout Operation Anchorage, 30 Days of Night, and parts of the Simpsons movie. But what do you guys think? You like Alaska? Plan on visiting? Do you live there already? Let me know in the comments below, especially if I missed something important. When you're down there, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you're new.